All right, welcome back to Cooking with a Veteran. I know I'm running a little late today. I uh, had doctor's appointment at the VA most of the day and then had to run some errands. So here I am, uh, just in time for dinner, right? For some of you. I mean, if you're in New York, I don't know, you might be eating dinner still. Who knows? Before we get started, as always, to all my brothers and sisters out there deployed overseas, wherever you are, away from your families, know that we love you, we miss you, we're thinking about you, and we hope that you come home soon. So, uh, I made the other day, I, I got these beautiful collar steaks, pork steaks, from um, the Tennessee Meat Company, my friends over there at the Tennessee Meat Company. Um, and they were just great. And I made some honey glaze, uh, collard pork steaks, and people were asking me about how to make them. I did post uh, instructions, but, you know, the videos are always best. Alexa, stop timer. Ah, the rice is done. All right, I'm going to let this sit to the side. So, and rice is the only thing that I don't cook in my cast iron. You know, good rice. I got this at a Korean market, Kim's Market. I told you about up there in Murfreesboro. Uh, it's got a nice thick bottom, okay? And you want a nice thick bottom pot. I mean, not the cast iron now, but you want a nice thick bottom part, pot for cooking your rice in. Um, all right, so I'm going to get into making the uh, honey glazed pork steaks here. And I'm starting out. I got some, I found this over at the Tennessee Meat Company. Prohibition, they have the, uh, this is um, olive oil, garlic, and salt in here, and I, I'm i loving it because, you know, the, the, the garlic is really infused with the olive oil. I'll have to ask them what kind of olive oil they use, uh, but a really good, it gives it a really good flavor. Let me turn that down some. Turn on the... All right, so I got that going in the oven. I'm in the pan. I'll show you there. So you can see it in the pan there. Look how beautiful dark brown the bottom of that pan is. That's how you want your cast iron to look. And then I have these beautiful, just absolutely gorgeous. Actually, I'm going to bring it back over here. I'm going to start searing up these steaks. So I'm doing... Uh, two of the collar steaks here. So what I did was I rubbed them down, okay, and I'm also doing a ribeye, uh, honey glazed ribeye. But anyway, I rubbed them down with some salt, some pepper, a little bit of paprika, and some of my <laughs> Dirty South barbecue that I picked up. That stuff is really, you know me, I love making my own seasoning. Um, the Dairy South makes a great rug. So I picked up some nice rug from them. Uh, and I'm using it on my steaks here today. And what I want to do here, so you see my steaks are going. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cook them for about three minutes on each side. Okay? I want to start getting them going. You know, you don't have to, some, some pork you have to be careful for. All right, but with a pork steak like this, you can cook it as a medium. I like it more thorough when it comes to pork. That's just a personal choice. But the beef steak here, the ribeye, um, I can just go ahead and let that cook uh, medium. Okay, so three minutes on each side, sear the sides up a little bit, and, and it's good to go. So, like I said, I'm making my honey glaze, and what I'm using is uh, some Mike's Hot Honey. I love this stuff. I I started using this um, in Chicago, actually. I would put this on my Chicago-style pizza. I found it kind of weird at first when I saw people putting honey on their pizza, but this is a really good <laughs> topping for those thick crusts breaded pizzas. Alright, so I really like that. Alright, so I got my my steaks going. Gonna check these out. 
Look at that. Look at that beautiful sear. Okay? Notice it's not sticking to the bottom. Again, if you take a really good care of your cast iron, look at it just slide across there, right? Absolutely beautiful. And, you know, the honey's cooking up some. So I got on the other side here, I'm going to pour a little more honey on them. Get those going nice and good over there. So while those are cooking up, <coughs> I had the pot a little too hot, sorry about that. You know me, I make mistakes sometimes, but that's all right. So anyway, while that's cooking up, uh, some news going on. Uh, we're going up May 5th to the 7th to cook at the BFW National Home. Very excited about that. Thank you, Yumana, for coming on board and being a sponsor of Project K9 Hero, um, Veterans Pressure Washing, the Murfreesboro, BFW Post 12206, Pup Tent Number 5. We have more sponsors coming on board to help us. We're raising money to support the National Home and to do the cooking up of the National Home. And I'm very looking forward to, I'm very much looking forward to being up there and cooking with the families. You can support the program. You can reach out to me as a sponsor for the program or a sponsor for Cooking with a Veteran. Don't forget, I still got my cookbooks. Okay, you can purchase a cookbook, which helps sponsor both. I'm always looking for new sponsors to come along. I got my new sponsor, which I'll be announcing uh, next week on next week's program. Okay, because they're sending me something. I want to show what they're sending me uh, as part of announcing my new sponsors. Uh, again, thank you to my brother and sister, uh, Jesus and Christy Fuentes, for the beautiful Dutch oven. This thing is gorgeous. Okay, loving this thing. Um, I can't wait to make some nice soup in here. It's going to be wonderful. Um, my third cookbook in the final editing process, that'll be coming out soon. Looking forward to that. I want to thank my friends over at uh, Heroes Media Group for helping me get my cookbooks going. I appreciate their assistance. Andy and, and his friends over there who hooked me up with a great editor. Okay, so look for that third book to be coming out here really soon. Um, and of course, I haven't really talked about this, but I am writing a novel. Volume 1 of my novel uh, is almost completed. Looking for that to be off onto the editor. So lots of exciting things going on right now. Uh, you know, the program has really grown a lot since I've been down here in Tennessee. And I realized, I'm not showing you this here. So what I'm doing is I'm searing the sides. Okay? I'm searing up <laughs> the sides and the edges here. All right? Getting this steak going. Look at that. Gorgeous. Beautiful sear on those. And again, notice they're not sticking to the bottom. Alright, this is what happens when you take care of your cast iron. It really treats you well. And I want to thank again my sponsors, Tennessee Meat Company, for hooking me up with Smithy, who hooked me up with this number 12 pen combo that I have. It's just been a treat to work with this. Alright. So I got this on low. I'm going to take my cutting board. Okay. Because what I'm going to do here, I want to I want to create a nice rice bowl. I love a good rice bowl. For those of you that have watched my show for a while or follow my show, you know that I love a good rice bowl. Okay, you can't go wrong. And again, this is rare on the inside right now. I don't like my pork steaks <coughs> rare. I like them medium well. Okay. 
so that's why I'm slicing these up now. Now my steak I like medium red, but my pork I like medium well. I'm slicing up my pork. Beautiful, nice cut uh, slices here. I've got those going. I'm going to stick these back inside the pan here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take the steak out. And like I said, I like this medium rare. I'm going to place that on the side for now. I'm going to forget about that. Come back over here to my pork. All right, so I got the pork going really nicely. Okay. I'm going to sprinkle on a little bit of crushed red pepper. Okay. I'm going to add in a little bit of this is hot chili sauce. Okay. I love, and you know, if you watch my show, you know that I love spicy food. Alright, right, and that's going to cook for about another two minutes. Okay. Now that it's sliced up, I'm going to flip them. Alright, let it cook for about a minute and a half on each side. To get that pork really cooked through. All right, and it won't take long because it's sliced down now. And this is how you make some beautiful um, honey glazed spicy pork steak with rice. This is just a great dish. All right, so while that's doing that, let me come back over here for a moment. Got my pan. Got my rice. Okay. Rice is nicely done. I'm going to take... I know I posted about this also, but I also want to show it. I'm going to take my rice. I'm going to stick my rice in a bowl. A lot of people ask about how do you get that perfect shape rice. This is how you do it. You take your bowl, you put your pan, and I'm going to leave that there for a moment. What I want to do is I want to finish up my pork here. As you can see, it's almost done. Okay. And now the trick is, you know, this is the thing I talked about. Right after I finish cooking, I'm going to let it cool down a little bit, but not fully, the pan, because um, after I take the pork out, what I don't want is I don't want this stuff, you see it's coming up easily now because it's hot, right? I don't want this sticking to the bottom of the pan. So as soon as I finish cooking up this pork and I put it on the side, I'm going to take the hot pan, of course using a glove, don't want to burn myself, right? I'm going to take the hot pan and I'm going to clean it right away. And I have a straight, a plastic scraper, or I could use the brush. I have a cast iron brush cleaner. Okay, either one of those works great to get the stuff out of the bottom. And then it's just a simple cleanup. All right, let me come back over here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my pork on the side there. Just a beautiful dish. It doesn't take long to cook. Okay? About 15, 20 minutes to cook all this. You know, you gotta cook the rice too. That's about 25 minutes if you make traditional rice, or you could do like a lot of my friends do. Um, who like rice bowls, they'll use uh, you know an Asian rice cooker. Or just a rice cooker, sorry, I don't even know why it's an Asian rice cooker. I apologize. Alright. Alright, so just use a rice cooker. Alright, so I got my meat. Um, I know you should keep 
can't really see it. Sorry about that. No, that's okay. <laughs> I'm gonna bring it over here so you can see. So I have my meat on there. I have the bowl, and when I lift the bowl up, see how it just keeps the shape. All right. Just a beautiful, nice honey glaze, spicy ham. Uh, beautiful dish. Let me go ahead and grab a fork. I'm going to try this, see how it came out. Mm. Kick to it, but also you get that sweet taste. Almost like a sweet and sour pork. Again, just a gorgeous dish. All right. So I hope you enjoyed joining me on Cooking with the Veteran. If there's something you want to see me cook, go ahead and reach out to me. Let me know. Please make sure you like, share, and follow. Again, to all my brothers and sisters out there, stay safe. We hope you come home soon. We love you. We miss you. To all my brothers and sisters out there suffering, know that we're here for you. Get to reach out to us and let us know how we can help you. That's what we're here for. And until next time, hoorah.